Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about coincidental modes. I see a lot of coincidental modes uh, in existing dimensions when you send in your room forms and we have calls. So let's kind of walk through some of the issues with modes in general and then we'll fine tune it down to coincidental. Axial we know is between two parallel surfaces. It could be sidewall, sidewall, front, rear, floor, ceiling. With Those are our three fields, right? Tangential is four surfaces. Be floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front, rear, floor, ceiling, front, rear, sidewall, sidewall. Lots of combinations there. And then the oblique is everything from six walls, floor, ceiling, and all four walls. Okay? So all of these surfaces are working against us. Most of the time, 95% of the time, the dimensions are working against us. Energy simply won't fit. When it doesn't fit, it starts exciting the air, starts exciting the air, we get distortion. We, and it becomes audible, okay? So the audibility of axial modes, you know, we find most of those 30 to 300 cycles. That's usually where you get the big ones. You know, those are the ones that are the most audible. They're 100% audible. You can hear them very easily. It's, it's not difficult. Tangential between four parallel surfaces, 50 to 150 cycles. It'll vary, but that, that's a pretty good range that we see. About half of those are audible. And then the oblique, 65 to 150 cycles, about 25% are audible. So here's your audibility in all of this, okay? It's audible. So it's distortion that you hear, and we don't want it. It's room distortion. It's room speaker, if you will. <laughs> it's telling us uh, what it's going to sound like, right? We don't want that. So let's look at this graphic here. And this is a 17, 10, 25-foot room. And you can see three coincidental modes here. Coincidental mode is a mode that's within 5 hertz of each other. We got 66, 67, 132, 134, 157, 160. You see the two red lines together at those frequencies. Okay. Now, the problem with the coincidental is they can be as audible as the axial. So the bottom line here is, Geez, we got axial modes we have to fight. Now we got coincidental modes we have to fight. We have tangential, we have oblique. Yikes, when does it stop? When does the madness quit? So the bottom line here is no coincidentals. We just don't want them. So when we're doing new builds, first thing I look for are ratios that have no coincidentals. Because all I want to focus on is the treatment of these three, okay? I don't need another animal in there that we got to fix. So we choose ratios that don't have coincidental modes. Not easy, okay? It's not easy at all. And if we do have to have them, we try to get them, you know, in the upper frequency range, 150, 200 cycles. So they're a little bit easier to treat. We don't need as much depth in our treatment. You know, the higher the frequency, the lower the depth. The lower the frequency, the greater the depth in the treatment. So new builds, no coincidentals. If we're doing retro, tap. Remember, type them out in position. Find out where they are, how bad they are, and apply the correct treatment in that position. So coincidental modes, just another mode that we have to think about. Great, huh? That's what we want, more modes. But this is how we have to break it down. This is how we have to look at it. So we really have four animals. We have axial, tangential, oblique, and coincidental. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.